Locke never understood the differences between water and land law. How do we know that? Because if you look at his illustration, he says if you take water out of a fountain, then it's going to be yours by the first possession rule. But of course, this is not water sitting in a fountain. It's a very dynamic system. And the question is not, is the water yours after you take it out of the fountain or out of the river? The question is, are you allowed to take this amount of water out of the river and walk? John Locke says, in effect, is two things. One, he says, is you can take water from a river uh, so long as you leave as much again and good inside the river. Uh, but the moment you think about that, you realize there's something deeply wrong with it because by definition, if one person takes something out, there's necessarily going to be something less left for the next people on the list. And so if you have to leave as much again and as good, in the individual case, it means in the end that you cannot allow anybody to take anything out. And then the the second kind of limitation that you had is that you could take it out only to the point that you could make gainful use of it. And that, of course, turns out not to be a particularly good limitation because but what the rule doesn't do is doesn't take into account the losses to other people, either from in-stream uses on the one hand or other outstream uses. So what the ancients did is they didn't treat this as a question of individual choice. They treated it as a systematic problem. And they said, what we are going to do is to allow people to take out water, roughly speaking, pro rata to the shore that they have. And then what we do is we create a hierarchy of uses. And the hierarchy of uses is roughly, uh, you can first use it to feed your family and to put water to your family, then to take care of your animals, then to take care of your crops, and then for other uses on the land. And it's pro rata. Now, how you enforce this is very tricky and it's done by custom, but essentially the basic intuition is if everybody is in the same boat, how much is the carrying capacity of the river? And then we divide it pro rata. 